Today we'll be talking about a very amazing item that exists in Warcraft and got butchered down the road because Steve Doncer come in charge. But we'll get to the Doncer part once we get there. Let's start with the lore and history of the Helm of Domination. You see, my dear feeble-minded uh, friends, the Helm of Domination came into existence once uh, Kil'jaeden put his hands upon Ner'zhul and decided that the Orc has failed him, you know, for the last time. Many of you have probably heard that from your own fathers if they were there, or from your mothers. But, you know, compared to your parents, Kil'jaeden really was keen on those consequences because Ner'zhul had it coming. Much like you, but your parents failed in doing that. So Kil'jaeden started to tr torture the soul of the orc. And at some point the Dreadlords came to Kil'jaeden and were like, Hey, we crafted this thing. And Kil'jaeden said, You know what would be a funny idea? How about I just whack his soul into that and then whack the thing into the frozen north of this planet that I'm trying to conquer. And he did so. And that's the story of the Helm of Domination. Now part of this uh, story is that there's the armor of the damned in Frostmourne. And Ner'zhul as the Lich King decided it's a good idea to throw Frostmourne away. And wait for Arthas to come and get it. But this is the canonical part. Later on the Helm of Domination will be worn by Arthas. And he will just um, eradicate the soul of the orc. And be the only one in control of the Helmet and the Scourge. But you see, this is the old lore. This is the good stuff. Let's get into the bad stuff. Now we have an origin for it. Because if you've played Shadowlands, you must be familiar with the Jailer and the Primus. Now, the Jailer captures the Primus at some point and turns him into the Rune Carver and forces him to create Frostmourne and the Helm of Domination. Then later on, Dreadlords that have pretended to be part of the Burning Legion bring the Helm, and Frostmourne of course, to kill Jaden, who decides it's a good idea to whack the soul of the orc into it and throw him away, much like your mother should have done when she saw you. But unfortunately the story just doesn't end there, because you see, Arthas gets defeated, both of our four dragons, the new Lich King, and he wears the crown. And Theodosra decides it's a good idea to activate his wet dreams and have Sylvanas break it to shards and break, break the veil between the living and the dead. <sighs> We're talking about worlds right now, we're not talking about the Forsaken. Who basically are the thing that broke that stuff, but doesn't matter. For convenience sake, we're not gonna get into the more complex aspects because I know your peanut brains can't really handle it. So let's just jump on with the story. Now the helmets and shards, and your role is to basically put it together as the Monwalker, solve the problems of the of the Shadowland, of course, and decide to change it to somehow find a way to defeat the jailer. Oh, by the way, the jailer in the meantime decided to mind control Anduin, and we kind of solved that problem pretty easily. In fact, we solved it way more easily than it would be normal, but it's Shadowlands, it's Doncer's first try since flipping burgers at McDonald's failed. Probably should go back and become an expert in that one, huh? How about that? Anyway, moving on. And later on, we to save the Shadowlands and whatever, you have to reforge the Helm of Domination into the Crown of Wills. And to do that, you need people to have broken the Helm of Domination's power over them. And of course, you have Anduin, which doesn't make any sense. You get uh, Bolvar Four Dragon, which, okay, kind of makes sense. But it only makes sense if the whole artist thing of the story remains intact. I, and by that, I mean artist decides to just eradicate the orc from the helm and become the sole ruler of the scourge then it makes sense for Borvar, Borvar whatever to be there and of course Sylvanas because Doncer can't keep his fingers to himself or on he can't keep two hands on the keyboard and they reforge the helm of domination into the crown of wills which gives its word the ability to say slurs in the airport or in the airplane once they see a person that you know has a different skin tone than them in case you're wondering yeah the second part is awful the first part kind of made sense because now the lich king and the helm of domination was just the thing that contained the power of the scourge back then now it's um this whole contrived thing that was turned into a Burger King crown. Again, I'm expecting the wearer of it, Pelagos, to start screaming slurs when he sees black elves or something. And this was the lore of the Helm of Domination. Yeah, the second part sucks, I know. You could pay me for all this work by liking, subscribing, and, you know, commenting. Unless you're a plebeian. 
learn to support your patricians.